Creating Safer Spaces, a Trauma-Informed Lens by Dr. Melissa J. Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa J. So happy to be here with you. We're going to explore the idea of creating safer spaces. Why this is important in the context of counseling is I am going to guess that many of us have heard people say, you know what, this is a safe space. What's difficult about promising that this is a safe space is that we don't have control and cannot predict what's going to happen throughout the duration of our time together. What we can be curious about is how we can create safer spaces. So safer spaces can offer all of us an opportunity to show up fully, to be brave, and to take chances, trusting that we're going to grow together. Ways in which we can support ourselves in cultivating a safer space is by honoring some pillars of a trauma-informed approach. One of the pillars from David Emerson's work is dedicated to experiencing the present moment. And experiencing the present moment allows us to stay in the here and now, focusing on what's happening here and now, what's being shared, what's happening somatically here and now. Another pillar to a trauma-informed approach to creating a safer space is choice-making. So while inviting ourselves to make choices moment to moment, empowering our, our clients to make choices moment to moment. Sometimes when someone's had a traumatic or difficult experience, they will overshare and feel quite flooded by emotion. This can disconnect them really quickly from their body. And we want to slow things down. So when someone says, I want to share my experience with you, our job as counselors can be going slow and inviting them into choice making. Another pillar of a trauma-informed approach is creating rhythms and creating consistency. So when we are in this role of counselor, we're in a very privileged position of being a support. Someone has chosen to reach out and share their hearts with us. By being consistent, it allows us to create a space where our clients know what they can expect when we come. By remaining consistent, it empowers our clients to say yes to their own healing journey because they know that when they arrive, they can expect that we're going to be who we've always been. Another way that we can support and nurture a safer space is by empowering our clients to take effective action creating opportunities for self-efficacy, being able to ask for what they need, letting us know how we might be able to support them in a different way. What's also beautiful is that we also nurture a safer space by co-creating that space together. When I offer group counseling or workshops, we often spend a bit of time at the beginning creating guidelines around what might support us in feeling like we can be authentic and show up fully. So take a few moments to just be curious about what it is that you would need if you were meeting with a counselor for the first time, or if you were in a group, what are the things that feel important that would allow you to feel like you could be yourself? What would allow the experience to feel safer? Be curious about what arises. Thanks so much.